What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another weekly challenge. I am your host, Rob Barrington, and we are on a hot streak here. We've won the last several of these challenges, and we're going to jump back into a match point challenge, which is our wheelhouse with these robots here. So take a look. We're starting with a pretty interesting hand. Our partner opens one heart, and this is your hand. What do you do, folks? Make your call. So with the robots, um, they don't play any sort of garden variety uh like nebulous two club game forcing bid what i mean by that is in in a little bit more advanced circles we would play two clubs as like three or more sometimes two or more clubs and just your your game forcing bid whereas all the other suits would be five card suits so if i bid two diamonds it's five plus but really the robots play just a simple version of two over one so we're going to bid our suits naturally here right so when they're expecting something really in the minor suits they're expecting four or more points or excuse me cards in the suit and 13 or more total points and here notice we have a three card heart race, so we don't have one bid that shows this particular hand. We're gonna have to game force first, and we're gonna do so by our natural-ish two diamonds, and then we will show our heart support later. Now, don't, don't freak out with this interference over here, right? This is interference after we've made a game forcing bid, right? So, so we are still in a game force, nothing changes, right? If interference occurred before we were able to bid two diamonds, let's say the East player after one heart bid two clubs, now we're talking about a spot where we have a different type of auction that we should be having. So here, same stuff, we're just gonna show a good hand. Look at this, we get to show 16 plus total points. We have to show a little extra because we're only bidding three hearts. And here, we'll let it go once we get to four. Even though we do have extras, we're flat. We see that the opponent is bidding something here. Not that that's always going to dissuade us, but our partner has clearly been told what we have as far as our extras, and they have nothing else to say. So we are going to pass, and we are going to just play four hearts. And take a look, folks. We are definitely going to lose at least one heart here, but the rest of it's going to be questionable, right? And take a look. Left-hand opponent has bid clubs at the three level. So let's take a moment, when the opponents get in here and do something, let's take a moment and just count our values here. So first off, the three club bid should show, okay, so it could be anywhere, right? It looks like they could have any range of hand here up to about 11 points, which is kind of weird. I don't know if the robot should be coming in at this level with this bad of a hand, but when we count our points, we're gonna add them to the dummy and that's 29 total points. And let's give West, I don't know, let's give them like a nine count, something that they would overcall with, with a good suit, which we should know they don't have. They have at most king empty of clubs. So here, the points we're looking for, there aren't many left, right? And lefty, I would say, has most of those values, right? So here on this diamond lead, we are just going to let this go over to the dummy. And at this point, uh, we could play a heart, try to play a heart towards this North player's hand, but we're kind of in the wrong hand to be able to do that. I'm just going to actually start drawing Trump. Now, this is a great sign, right? A, a little bit of a surprise, to be honest. We lead a low heart and they hop up with the ace. That means left-hand opponent has, at most, the queen of spades, the jack of hearts, the king of clubs, and the jack of diamonds. So here, uh, hopefully they don't realize a rough right away, although that might be their short suit there. <laughs> Take a look at this. This is nuts. All right, we should know the king of clubs is to our left. I'm not going to risk a finesse and a rough on this hand, so I'm just going to hop up with the ace. And here, not a shock, we see that hearts are not breaking evenly on this hand. And because of that, we are just going to try to draw Trump as efficiently as we can. Get back to our hand to do this. And now let's see if maybe we can pitch away this uh, club over here. If the diamonds are breaking evenly, we can pitch a club and then maybe take a spade finesse. But here, that is not working for us. And at this point, I don't want to take a spade finesse, so I'm going to play a low club, give them the king of clubs, and now I'm going to be able to pitch a spade over there on my jack of clubs. Because honestly, I would expect West to have the queen of spades, but I'm not going to try to mess around and find out. Right? I don't need to know for sure. I can give up a club that I'm always going to lose and then not have to take a spade finesse, which is almost marked, but not quite. Let's see what the heck was lefty bidding with here. This is gross. Wow, what a terrible hand they had over there. Let's, let's jump over to the results and take a quick peek before we move on. All right, let this be a lesson to you. Don't get in there with this hand. <laughs> Lefty has like this ugly six count with King 10, 9, 8, 6, the clubs. I mean, this is not a spot I would ever, 
I, I would ever think about entering an auction, right? Kind of kind of crazy stuff here, but it looks like it looks like we did as good or as well as we're going to do on this particular hand, right? We did only lose um, a club and a heart. Right, then we were destined to lose those tricks no matter what because, well, I sorry, excuse me, I we could take one extra trick here. You guys see how we do that? Yeah, the, the finesse for this jack of diamonds is is actually on, right? Right, so we could have on the third round of diamonds played a low diamond and inserted the ten rather than playing for the drop here, and that could have netted us an extra trick. But honestly, I think we did pretty darn well with the cards we were given. And the only reason that works, obviously, by the way, is because the spade finesse then subsequently wins. So we could have maybe gotten out for one loser, but we will hope the match point play is either a chop or maybe even a little bit ahead for us. Uh, but that could be a spot where we lose a little bit. But uh, we'll jump onto the next hand and we'll see the result of this on Friday. Right? We'll get we'll get all the answers then. Uh, this next hand is going to be a one heart opening bid from our side of the table now. Right? Very fl normal thirteen count. All right, so a heart, now three diamonds, at least this time we know this bid is preemptive, right? This is a jump this time, so this is clearly a preemptive bid. Um, this holding here kind of goes down in value, unfortunately, for us, right? Again, if they lead diamonds to our left, this might end up being okay for us, but here, without that sort of extra trick being given to us, this might be a spot where we have three points that just aren't worthy of, of that value. But... We're in four hearts. We have nothing to do. We open one heart. We get to play four hearts. And yeah, here you go. You see that partner has a void in diamonds. So this three points we do have in diamonds are completely worthless. However, we're not too bad off here. Take a look, folks. We have three club losers for sure. But after that, we're okay, right? This hand is going to do pretty well here. So let's let's see what happens. Let's see how many club tricks they do choose to take initially here. You might they might be thinking, hey, we're going to have a club rough, but no, you just have a whole bunch of club tricks, people. <laughs> so this is a really interesting spot where yeah, they can take their tricks, but we can always rough high. And if they lead a club here, we're going to rough as high as possible. Uh, but no, they're going to lead a spade. We're going to duck that, and now we just have an embarrassment of riches. In fact, um, I believe I can just claim because I have enough roughs all over the place, and that nine of clubs is good, right? So notice, even if trumps break the worst, right? I have to draw three rounds of trump. I can still rough a spade, and I can still rough a club if I need to, but I don't because that's a good card. So we will just claim, and they will assume we're drawing trumps, and we're getting on that. So here, guys, our first two boards of the week, not too bad. Four hearts from both sides of the table. This last one we made pretty much exactly what we should make. The first one, as discussed, we had an obscure diamond finesse to take for the jack that might have produced an extra trick for us. Um, but again, that, that's a little bit risky, and it could produce an under trick, right? So in match points... It's kind of a tough sell, especially because Lefty had shown up with very little. So after East shows up with the Ace of Hearts, I just kind of would put most of the points I'm looking for in that left-hand opponent's hand, West. And uh, unfortunately, we had one place to do better, but I'm pretty happy to be in four hearts on both of these boards, just making. All right, good stuff. So let's see what we're jumping in with tomorrow. All right, this will be where we start Tuesday's hands. Take a look. Make your bid in advance, and I will see you for the session tomorrow. Take care, everybody.